Hello there. I don't know what the heck just happened to my voice right there. But welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. It's time we found... We went, uh, reunited with Sierra and also found out Anno Cordova was alive in here. It's crazy. To get to that one, we gotta... since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations. Oh. I do the same for you. <laughs> it's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one if you think you might want. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. The Master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Let's try some blaster stance. Still. Gotta start somewhere. Triangle one. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. Oh, I do not work for Siri. I even smack him with it. Cal does not like stormtroopers. Who does? Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. Um. All right, then. I guess the platform is somewhere else. Okay, let me just check out some. Did I miss one? This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you hmm. say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. You two have that in common. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I hope so as well. Um. Me meditate and fast travel. So I check something out. Okay, I cannot fast travel from here. Check some stuff out. Fast travel from this one, can't I?
is this? Don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll travel here. Okay. That'll be some stuff to explore around here. Go over there. What was that down there? Oh, there's that. Ah, another one of those things. I killed it better that time. I don't think I can go up that way, but... Huh. If we do not find an oasis, we will never reach Pilgrim's Crossing. Nothing. <laughs> Three pilgrims make their way dutifully across the Jeddah Desert. Their provisions are low and their situation is grim. Move, cow, move. Ocular. I'll just fast travel the one over there in the little temple. Oh, just got me here. Neat. Let's plot a course. Or just secret. Shattered moon. 
no sweat. Oh, you back, Breeze. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. You know what I mean. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. Had no idea. Hmm. Arriving at our destination. Shattered moon. Rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure, it's how you're cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. Where's Grease? They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. Well, at least they have a atmosphere. Looks like this will be a shortcut. I'm over there. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. Cordova said there were records of Dagon visiting a lab on this moon. It says Cree written all over it. And it has that stuff on it, so it's gotta be it. Another shortcut. Okay, so not that way. Definitely not. I really think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the council. Two High Republic scientists are discussing the stellar anomaly and their work on the facility. Despite a disagreement on the exact goal of the work, both are aligned in continuing the research. They expect to see this place operational after all this time. Stay alert. We need to find that lab. I suspect Ravis and his guys probably have been here keeping things up and running. Activate that. Um, let's go to training. I want to check out some of the stuff for. Oh no, not that. Did not mean that. 
I meant skills. I meant to do skills. Flying lunge, leaping thrust. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Sectors five through nine and operable. Sectors one through four, operational. Facility status, activated. Array status, deactivated. <laughs> What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. Turbo scientists conduct tests with unacceptable results. The only path forward one suggests is further reinforce their apparatus. I have no idea what I was doing. Let me try this again. Harmony. That's a person. Uh, triangle, that's right. Yeah, that, okay, you dodge that. Oh, you're a veteran. They were waiting for us. Oh, ah, no, no. Ah, correct. Got a parry. Oh, that was a cool finisher. Edie, help, please. Okay, so that would have let me come up behind them. I also see something over there. Locked from the other side. I can know. Ah, made it. Health essence. Nice. Alright, I'm going to call it an episode here. Next time, we'll continue making our way through. 
and maybe upgrading the blaster stance. But until then, have a great night. See you.